Welcome everyone to Banana Bread Trades. My name is Goose and in today's video we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to save your charts on Quantower so that if for some reason you load it up and they're all gone, you know exactly how to get them back with all the drawings, exactly how they were the last time you saved it. So let's hop right in here and I'll just show you exactly how it does because it's real easy. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to do this for each set of charts that you got. So I have three separate charts right here. I have my main bind, which is some of my main big charts here. They have a bunch of different things. I use the 30 second for drawing my opening range, my daily chart, my five minute chart. It's got initial balance all and all and everything. Then I also have my analytics chart, which shows me my options volume and everything. And if you want to know more about that, I got another video. The one I did just before this one on how I use options analytics. And then I have my other charts down here which is es and nq and this is just marking out my main options volume from this analytics tab so i'm going to save all sets of three charts because i do kind of move these around a lot so i don't have these two binded like i do with my main chart my main chart is binded with time and sales and if you need to know how to bind you just click in the top left unbind click your group and hit create bind choose the things you want to bind hit enter and then bam now they're all stuck together so what when you move it they'll move together and i want to save all of that together in this video here so what i want to do now that i have this bind made i'm going to click up here in the left and i'm going to go save as template and i want to save this as a new template and i'm going to call it main charts and then i am going to click save and then up here in the top left for or top right for my options analytics, I want to save both my ES and NQ together. So I'm going to go to the group, hit save as template, and I want to actually replace, I have this one already, or I call it options volume. So I'm going to click replace existing, save it as my options volume, and it'll save over my previous options volume save that I had. And then usually for the options analytics, you don't have to do that anyway, because it updates every day. But if you want to save like your layout and everything, it's a good idea to do. Same thing here. I want to save my options volume tab here. So I'm going to go to save as template and I'm going to do options chart. Oops. Oh no, I accidentally hit the wrong button. Sorry about that. We're going to go to options chart. and then hit save so now all three of those have been saved so i'm going to do something dangerous here i'm going to delete all three they're all gone oh no the whole thing's gone whole thing's gone now let me get rid of my uh google chrome so now that all my charts are gone i'm going to show you that you can bring them all back with no problems so we're going to click on our little little symbol up here whether you have amp quant tower or regular quant tower you just go up here click amp then you go to templates and find whichever one you just saved it as i just saved it as options chart uh main charts and options volume so let's open up our main charts boom there they are all my drawings and everything still there exactly as how i left them just move them back exactly where you want them same thing with like my daily it's all saved exactly how i had them and all my settings all my drawings exactly before Next, I want to pull up my options chart and boom, all my drawings and everything all still saved. And then the last thing I want to pull up is my options volume and bam, there that is. And I have all my charts all saved exactly as how I deleted them. So if your quant tower ever messes up or something happens, restart your computer, all of that is still saved now if you want to know where these are saved so you can send these charts to your friends which is another very important thing you can go to this file path here wherever you have your quant tower downloaded to go to your quant tower file go to settings go to templates and all those templates are going to be saved right here as an xml file you're going to want to send if you want to send your charts like you drew up a bunch of stuff go save this file copy it and then just send it to your friends they can move that file 
into their Quan Tower file, and then boom, now they have all of your drawings, all of your charts that you wanted to share. I do it with my Discord all the time. I share my options, volumes, levels all the time in my Discord so people don't have to draw them if they don't want to, if they want to start back testing them. They have all of my previous data that they want to use that I've already drawn. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you save your Quan Tower charts, how you send them to friends, how you create binds. I don't know. Nice little tutorial here. So thank you all for stopping by and watching. Hit the like, subscribe button. Come join the Discord and hang out. We're there every day talking trades and everything. So, but again, thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you all in the next one.